For this one, I call this logo extrusion. We're going to create a new design. And then you need to find a logo that you uh, some logo of your choice. So I'm going to do like Under Armour logo. Okay, so I hit image and I'll just go for this here. Right click and say save image. Actually, you're going to have to save it to your desktop or something somewhere. This says SVG, but it's an M a PNG whatever. These are different formats. If it actually was an SVG, we could just import it directly into um, Tinkercad, but you can see it's really a PNG. It says it right here. So I'm going to hit save, and then we're going to go to online PNG to SVG converter. And, you know, you might not have a PNG, you might have a JPG, but I think if you just do a search for online SVG converter, that would probably do it too. So there's tons of free ones. Uh, Convertio is one that I've used. Doesn't really matter. Let's try this one. So we hit choose file and we go to downloads. Uh, where is it? There it is, underarm logo. Uh, it start conversion. Then somewhere we'll download. Yeah, here we go, download. And now it's actually an SVG, you can see. Uh, download multiple files, I don't know. Allow, I guess. No, I don't want a, multiple files. All right, so I've already got the file I need. I'm going to go here, hit import. Choose file, and then um, there it is. That's a true SVG, and it says it's too large, so I'll go. I'm going to go like 25%. In my experience, they tend to come in way too big, so I'm going to do 25%. You might even do 10. And there it is. Now you can click on it, hold shift, and resize it so it fits on the screen, and that's how you do it logo extrusion from there you can add stuff you can change its dimensions you know you can make it really crazy tall if you want uh, but now you have a 3d object that can be manipulated and that's all there is to it